Welcome students to this week's Spelling Netcast. Before we begin, let's make sure that we are prepared. We have all the necessary items. Make sure you have your pencil to write with, your glue stick to um, glue in your heading, scissors to cut out your word chips, your Ziploc bag to store your word chips in after we're done with this activity. Of course, your journal to write in, to store your assignments, and last but not least, make sure you have your spelling word list. Let's take a look at sort 38, and let's take a look at the words. There they are. Aren't they just nice and beautiful? Have our exemplars, and there are the words. Nice. Awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the scissors. Let's go ahead and begin cutting. Go. Okay, by now, students, you've had time to cut out your word chips. Let's go ahead and now take our heading. As you know, Mr. Powell, he expects you to glue in your heading. The purpose keeps us organized, keeps everything nice and neat. All right, so let's put that at the very top. Again, this is sort 38. We're looking at consonant digraphs, some blends. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our, our first exemplar. The first exemplar is T-R-E. You guys are already familiar with the, the, the sound that the T and the H makes together. That's a blend, right? And it makes the th sound, right? But now we're going to add an extra consonant. Still one sound, but it's th thr th thr Can you guys say th Let's go ahead and write that, and we'll find some words that fit this exemplar, and we'll say it together, and we'll make some sense of it, right? So, T-H, again, that's something you're already familiar with. Now we're going to practice this new consonant added to the, to the blend, and again, it's th. Let's take a look at our next one, S-H-R, but again, you guys are already familiar with the S-H, now we're going to add the consonant R, and it's going to make the sound shr, shr, say shr. Our next one is the SQ, right? You guys know that squ, squ, and then we add the U and it's squ, squ. All right, let's take a look at some of our words now. Here's our first one. And it's three. You guys know that's a number, right? And when we write it, we can see that there's the THR, the th, and then we have our E. Th, E. Interesting, huh? All right, let's take a look at our next one. This one's square, and it's not going to go under the SHR, but it's going to move over under this exemplar, the SQU. We can write it squ, and then air, square. It makes it, we kind of want to say R, right? Squar? But we don't say squar, do we? We say square. That kind of takes on a different sound. We're not used to having the A-R-E make that sound, but... That's sometimes the way it goes, okay? Square, square. Our next word is shred. And again, we're familiar with the, the SH. We add the R, it's shr, shr, ed, shred, shr, ed, shred. Okay, you guys kind of getting familiar with how it works? Let's do one more row, one more a uh, word for under each exemplar before we say goodbye. All right, let's take a look at shriek. It's not going to go under the THR or the SQU. It's going to go under the SHR. So let's write shriek. Shra eek. Shra eek. Shriek. Can you guys say that? Shriek. Let's take a look at our next one. Again, it's not going to go under the T or the SQU. It's going to go under the T. HR and it's through. There's our thr and then there's our through. 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 Okay. Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. Alright, let's take a look at our last one here. 
Again, the exemplar is squa. So let's go ahead and start that. S Q U squa. And then we have the int. Squa int. Squint. And that's what we do when the sun is in our eyes, right? We have to squint, or either that or put on our sunglasses. All right, guys. What have we learned? We've learned that we, al we already know the TH, we already know the SH and the SQ. Now we're just adding an extra consonant to the blend, our consonant blend at the beginning of the words. And we know that this one is th, and we, we did thri, thru, through. Here we have shr, shr ed, shred. That's what we do with paper most of the time. And then we have shriek, shr, eek. Shriek. That's a kind of a horrible sound at times. Huh? Scary movies make us shriek. And then our squ, squair, and squint, squint. What we do when the sun's in our eyes. All right, guys, go ahead and continue following um, the directions that Mr. Powell just shared with you. All right, and go. All right. By now, you finished the, the assignment part with the video and now you're ready to do the the second part to tonight's homework again I expect you to have the video portion done and then do a lay and say and the lay and say again is is written I expect you to to mix up the words write them underneath the proper exemplars and then don't forget when you're done with the lay and say put the word chips back in your your ziploc bag for safekeeping so you can continue with your your assignments tomorrow night and Wednesday night all right, keep track of your other items, your scissors, your glue stick. And of course, you always need a pencil. So, again, students, why do we do this? Well, it helps us to not only spell better, but we learn word meaning and it helps us become better readers and writers as well. So, keep up the good work. We expect great things of you, and we'll see you soon. Bye.